it's weekend reset which means we are gonna be cleaning showing some love to my plants because i have to put you guys on with something about me so your girl actually started getting into plants the beginning of this year and i have grown a collection which honestly is bad because i feel like i have an addictive personality so once i like something or get into a hobby i need to go into it a hundred percent meaning that whatever hobby it is i want to be the best but that's just a little toxic trait of mine and it's more of me finding out what i like and just it sounds like carny about finding yourself you know i found that I enjoy and love plants and I haven't and wasn't influenced by no one else because when you have a addictive personality too I feel like you could easily pick up things other people like but that is not the case with this this is something I stumbled upon and I was like wait I actually already have a couple of plants I've been wanting to get into plants but I know that plants are quite expensive aside from that it's a lot of learning you have to learn what soils are best for your plant but that is where this comes in hand because you might be like girl why are you talking so much about plants because i purchased more plants and i'm super super stoked about what's in this package because this package is a plant that i had in my wish list this january oh my god i'm so happy to finally bring these babies home with me so we're gonna start off with the first plant i got which is you know let's start off small but mighty i got this variegated alocasia and the packaging it does come with pebbles these little foam pebbles another thing if you guys didn't know that you guys could get plants shipped to you i was Stunned when I found out you could do that because for some reason I didn't think they would survive I mean look at these packaging they secure this bad boy but I didn't even know heat packs existed for plants right now oh my god these flies I have been saying this but me and these flies have been beeping as soon as I opened my door they went up flying to my apartment and that's because it's cold outside and that basically goes along the lines with what I was gonna say the weather if the weather is under 40 degrees they don't recommend you to buy plants because they are not gonna survive but let's help her up <sighs> I, I could cry <laughs> the plant looks so beautiful already I'm taking out the pebbles I'm like shaking because I, I don't know this just makes me happy and you might be like girl you're weird but like this is what brings me joy she is gorgeous I honestly was so nervous because I for some reason thought the leaves were gonna get damaged her on the way but no these are this is my two inch alocasia it is a variegated alocasia and I, I don't even need to talk like look at this leaf and i'm so excited because i also ordered a plant surprise i have no idea which one this is can i have a sneak peek oh my god it's my thigh constellation monstera oh no it's not <laughs> It's my Regal Shield Alocasia. I might be chopping up these names as well, but please forgive me. I just said I am a new um, plant person, you know? But let me close my curtain because I feel like I'm so overexposed. For those curious, also, I did buy from Rose with Hose, BWH. If you download the application also, you get 10% off. So download it. Also, for those wondering, these are my first alocasias. I am scared because there is a rumor that say alocasias are prone to spider mites and I cannot do pests. So right now, these plants, I am going to isolate and put these right here for the meantime. I'm not sure why there are specks of white on my alocasia. Um... The soil is also super damp, so I'm not going to have to water these guys for more than a week. It's going to take some time for the soil to dry unless it has really good drainage. But this is my alocasia. Here comes the next plant. This is... I saw the name already. I got a philodendron print of orange. Look at the orange in her. 
she's a little damaged you guys see half her leaf is missing but she is also showing new growth and lastly it's my four inch tie constellation i already see a variegated leaf oh my god no damage zero damage i see three leaves right now and they are in perfect condition i've been ripping the plastic i think it was easier just to pull it down work smarter not harder it has four leaves oh my god i am so bad at math don't believe me there are five leaves and one baby leaf coming so that was my plant haul i probably took longer than expected but i have one two three four we know she mad at mad but we got four new plants we finally got that done so now we could get to cleaning because i was procrastinating on building that little pot section thing was i had all those boxes i had packages on packages that i was just like i'll do that next week i'll do that next week but i'm like girl it's getting cluttered i am gonna start getting into a slump and just be in bed all day because the mess just overwhelms me so that's why i like cleaning up i've been doing closing shifts now throughout the week to help me out so in the weekend it's not that messy but this is my mess right now it's mostly what i unbox right now um my luggage that i have to unpack my bed and then i just have my babies i was saying that i'm a quarantine these bad boys but to be honest it doesn't look like they have pests so i am gonna put her right here no she a little too bushy for my liking to be up there so i'll put her down here but isn't she cute with her pink i did have her in an area where there wasn't much light so that's why i'm putting her here because i want her leaves to pick up more of that pink vibrant color in order to do that you need to expose them more to the light so that is why i am gonna put her here I mean, she is pretty far from the other plants, right? Not me gaslighting myself into thinking that they're far apart. But let's get to cleaning because it's a mess. But let's kill two birds with one stone. We call this multitasking at its finest. This is the rosemary oil I go in with. We're going to drench our hair while I deep clean. Well, not deep clean. While I clean up my whole apartment so my hair has time to soak it up. And then we're going to shower so that is why we're gonna put it all over our hair so i could at least have a good two hours with this product in my hair i do also leave it on at night it just depends on my mood right now i don't want to dirty my bed sheets because they are new linen so we're trying to avoid that soon enough i'm also gonna need a haircut I need to trim whatever dead ends I have. I don't know if this is a fact or not, but my take when it comes to hair trims is that you are giving your hair an opportunity to grow once you remove the dead ends. It's just not working or overworking to keep those dead ends hydrated. So when you chop it off, it stunts new growth. That is my take on getting haircuts. Because I know there are people that get scared because I am one of them that they're going to get half their hair chopped off. If it happens, it happens. So don't worry about it because I promise new growth is to come in order not to get this hair oil everywhere we're gonna sleep back our hair and then head to cleaning you could also do this throughout the day just put rosemary hair oil and go to work go about your day once you get home you wash it off i just feel like doing that again benefits your hair so she looking a little sleek back and put together people will know that you are on day five of not washing your hair plus drenched in oil no 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 they probably think it's gel again i don't know if i'm gaslighting myself but it's always good to be a little bit delulu than be overthinking and thinking that everybody knows your business
I always do my bed first to prevent myself from laying back down and being a potato because I am that type of person that once I have my bed done, I cannot lay on it. It's gonna irk my soul, I'm gonna cringe. It's, it's, it just looks so perfect. So if I see wrinkles on it, I'm just like, you know what? I'm done for the day. Let me just lay back down. It's mental. It's just a lot of things are mental stuff. You just have to do what you gotta do in order to motivate your own self because if you don't motivate your own self, who is? But point is, now that I did my bed, I'm not gonna lay on it because like I said, I hate how my bed looks wrinkly after you lay back down when your room isn't clean. But now that I did my bed, I feel like it just makes my room look 10 times cleaner. All I have to clean out is the mess I made of the plants, which is all of this, and unpack the clothes I have from the luggage. So it's not much. I'm gonna just grab a pink bag. Yes, I have to say pink because let me show you guys my bag. This is how I know we are adults now. Who gets excited for a pink bag? But I mean, just do you. If a pink bag doesn't make you happy, go and purchase it. It's just little things like this that makes my day 10 times better. It's so ironic. I'm getting happy for a trash, for a trash bag. But all this trash and the moss that the plants had, I'm gonna throw in the trash. And fun fact, these little guys are biodegradable. So you just get them wet and they dissolve. It comes with a sticker, I didn't even see this. And last but not least is my kitchen. My bathroom isn't that dirty. I just have to fold towels and call it a day, which I am thankful for. So I'm grateful for the past tense Vanessa because she was up to date with the bathroom. My kitchen isn't that dirty. It's just things that I have to put away and just things I have to recycle. So in the back, I have a water bottle and some bottles that I have to recycle and right here I have a mess of all the boxes so this should be quick I don't have much dishes also so again I am hoping to be done in 15 to 20 minutes max and I also got some fertilizer for my plants which I think I'm gonna focus on this tomorrow so today was mostly dedicating time for my plants cleaning tomorrow should be fertilizing and laundry those are my goals for tomorrow this water meter trash it doesn't work don't rely on it i could have just finished watering my soil of a plant and it literally stays dry so don't rely on that because you are going to overwater your plants it's just it's not reliable at all just go with a basic wood stick also i don't know if you guys noticed <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can revive her. This is the most dramatic plant I've ever owned. A ficus tree. Girl, this has been making me want to jump out the window because I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know what it wants. It has roots. It's healthy, but it doesn't want to be happy with me. I think this is the plant that hates me. Everybody has a plant that hates them. That is my plant. What kind of cereal girl are you guys? I honestly am not much of a cereal eater, but I do like the classic fluff and flakes or the mini wheat. It's so funny too now because now that I've grown older, well now that I'm an adult, you know, adult team one on one with me, I could finally eat sugary cereal. My mom was the type of mom that wouldn't let us eat sugared cereals. You would catch me eating Honey Nut Cheerios. That was the only sweet one we were allowed to eat. Frosted Flakes but with no sugar. Whole wheat cereals. Basically any cereal with no sugar that is what we ate. 
even sodas we weren't allowed to drink pepsi or cokes that when i moved down my mom's house i went on a bender which i don't think is that healthy because we were only allowed to drink um what is it called clear sodas as in sprite ginger ale anything that had no dye in them which honestly i don't hate that she did that because now i don't crave none of that you don't see me munching on stuff i don't really crave cereals i do crave soda that's the only thing i could say i crave but sweets and stuff like that i don't crave but that is what a one of how i was raised Ever since seeing people getting stuck in the escalators with their cocks, I am so terrified to wear them that I only wear them to do errands. I think I got it. So for one cap full size of product, we pour it into one gallon of water. So this little guy should last us for 50 gallons of water, which is insane. But we're gonna triple, not even triple, double it, and it's gonna make us 100 gallons of water. Because I was thinking of using half a cap full of product because this is my first time ever using fertilizer and she a little scared. So I just wanna be more on the safer side. I am gonna grab my gallon of water and dump it because when water sits here for a while, let's say a week or two weeks, I feel like my water gets stale. <laughs> I'm giving stale water to my plants. But then again, I also do love letting the water sit for a couple of days because I am using tap water and I just feel like when you let the tap water sit, it dilutes it and it isn't that harsh for your plants. So we're gonna empty her out because this I've been using for the past two weeks. So I just wanna refill her up with brand new clean water. I was legit about to start panicking because <laughs> I'm like, where's my cap? How am I gonna close my bottle? Girl, it's right here. And my fertilized water is ready. We are filling my water dispenser that I use to water my plants and tell me this isn't cute. She is amber with a spout of a shape of a flower this just makes watering my plants so much fun and more enjoyable but now we gotta go and put our clothes in the dryer Friday. Finally made my dentist appointment. I've been stalling with the dentist. I started growing a little bit of fear for the dentist. The reason I'm scared is because I know I'm gonna have to take my wisdom tooth out pretty soon. Do I want to go through with it? No, that's why I've been stalling. I've been stalling this wisdom tooth for almost two years and the problem is that it wouldn't bother me but now it's growing. It hasn't given me pain still but I'm still scared for the day that it does. So I am going to have to take that out soon and I just want to get, you know, my regular cleaning and all of that adulting. But I got my distance appointment out the way. Now I think all I need is just a regular checkup and we are set for another year.
needed something to refuel my energy, which iced coffee does the job, and a bagel with cream cheese. We're gonna grab the bag of clothes because if I don't do that today, right now, this moment, this is not gonna get folded till next week. The day before I do laundry, I procrastinate when it comes to folding clothes. Folding clothes, honestly, I love, but I hate. I love it because I love folding my clothes neatly, but I hate it because it's time consuming. I just waste half an hour of my life folding clothes that we're gonna unfold. Explain to me how is the math mathing. On the bright side, I have my bagel with cream cheese and my iced coffee. So yeah, this is how a typical reset weekend in my life looks like. It's just going, going, cleaning, just doing stuff that I've been putting off, which we are gonna do something I've been putting off for a whole month or maybe two months. And this is everything I've been procrastinating. I have one, two, three, four, five drawers that are empty. Matter of fact, six. I wanna see how I reorganize everything. The problem is that when I do my makeup and then put everything back not where it belongs, I just dread doing my makeup because I can't find nothing. I get frustrated because I'm like, where's my favorite lipstick? Where's my favorite eyeliner? And I just don't find nothing. So it is overwhelming. I just wanna organize everything and maintain it nice and clean and organized. There's a bunch of makeup too that I need to throw out that is expired that I've had for like four years that I just gotta let go and put it in the trash.